I always feel really awkward when I'm doing these sorts of videos. I don't do them very often and maybe I should. Maybe I should just start filming my everyday life just so I get some practice at talking to the camera because I, I tend to look sort of everywhere else but at the camera. But here I am. We're going to give it a go. Hi. So I don't know if anybody remembers but back in January I took some node cuttings of my golden pothos plant. Um, it was absolutely wild, there was so much going on, I couldn't control it, it was just curled up in the pot, um, of which I rescued from my old workplace actually, um, and it just wasn't looking great. So I took some cuttings, um, I put the nodes in some sphagnum moss and I put some in soil too, just to see which one did best. Um, as it turns out, they both did fairly okay. The sphagnum moss ones did root better. Um, I think the soil said a little bit too damp for the nodes. By the by, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I've got some really cute um, little rooted nodes going on. So here we are in December. Um, so it's been almost a year. And my God, guys. So I brought this plant to work with me. Um... I think it was last week. So I brought it with me last week, just basically because it's warm in here. Um, it's in the glass house, so I've been keeping it out there. It's warm, it's humid, it's got lots of light. Um, so I just thought mm, might do a little bit better. So brought it in, and it is doing fantastically. Can you see this? It has grown so much. Um, it's really starting to vine now. I've started to put a little. So I've got a little. Um, just a stick. I just popped a stick in there for now. Um, eventually when it gets a little bit bigger I'll get it a little moss pole I think. But um, this will do for now. Um, and I just wanted to show you how absolutely ecstatic I am. I'm always ecstatic about things like this. But I am so stoked. Um, she's still in a fairly small-ish pot. Um, the roots aren't coming at the bottom so she's fine. The roots are not root bound. Um, but yeah, I'm just absolutely, I'm just so happy. So I've had, I've got a few of these now that I've rooted from those nodes. I did give a couple of to some friends. I've got a couple more at home. Um, but this one is just one of my favourites. It's doing so well. It's growing in really beautifully. Um, I can't remember how many nodes I put in. I think it was one, two, three four five six six or seven going by this i think i put six or seven nodes in the top of the pot just to just to make it a little bit more full because you put one in and you get you get one vine and it's fine but you just look sad so this is a few nodes and this is so simple to do um if so if you've got a vining plant if you've got a pothos i will do a video on how to do these um and you can make lots of little baby plants yourself how cute so I was editing yesterday's video um, very crudely because I'm a bit rubbish and I realised that I didn't actually film an outro, I just stopped talking. So I'm just saying hello here and goodbye here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know watching me talk about nodes isn't probably the most interesting content I could have thought of but needs must and I wasn't at home so here we are. Um, I just wanted to show you another one that I did um, at the same time. It's grown a little bit more actually um, than the other one at work. She's doing super well. I am going to need to repot her very soon. Um, I can just see roots coming out the bottom, but that's fine. Um, she's fine for a little while longer. Um, so yeah, so I think in my next video, what I'll do is I don't have any. Here. I think I've got one upstairs that's got a lot of vines on that I could propagate for you to show you. So what I will do over, maybe over the weekend actually, because I've got the next few days off, I will put together a little propagation video to show you how I did it and how you make more plants out of plants you already have. So I hope you aren't bored of watching me babble on and I will see you next time. Bye!